ask us which of these is an irrational number, keep in mind that if you see a decimal, it's only irrational if there is no repeat excuse me, repeating pattern and no end. Right? It's never gonna end or have some kind of repeating pattern. That's what an irrational number looks like as a decimal. However, as a square root, a number is irrational if the square root of a whole number. Right, I'm running out of room here. It's irrational if the square root of a, a whole number is not a whole number. Is not a whole. So, so for example. Uh, if we look here, we have negative 2, well, that's just a negative whole number. Negative 64, that equals 8 times 8. Great. 3.14, dirty trick. They're trying to re represent pi there, but in fact, that's just approximation. So here is the square root of 56. That's my answer. If I wanted to check, I can plug numbers in close to it. So, for example, 8 times 8 equals 64. 7 times 7 equals 49, and this number falls between 64 and 49, it's somewhere in there. So anyway, that, that means that that's an irrational number. Okay, hope that helped.